and gone the way we've gone the last 20 years? Are we going to stop? Somewhere, we're going to have to stop. We'll either carry until we'll seek until we'll knock until we'll ask until or we'll just run out of all as the five foolish virgins did and as the churches has already run out. We'll run slap out of what we got. Chapter 17. Elijah the Tishabite, who was of the inhabitation of Gilgal, said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. Now, rain and former and latter, rain represents and is the Holy Ghost. Get thee. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence, and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook, cherry that is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens, which is the vultures, to feed thee there. So he went and did according unto the Word of the Lord, for he went and dwelled by the brook Cherry, that is before Jordan, and the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. And it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up, because there was no rain in the land, and the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Arise, get thee to Zarpath, which is belong to Zidon and Idon. And dwell there, behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. So he arose and went to Zarpath, and when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks. And he called to her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water and a vessel that I may drink. Now, don't you notice? Know here was another woman. She was a widow. That meant that she had no husband. Or she had no way of conceiving or reproducing. The woman cannot reproduce. That's reading Mary said, How can this be? Seeing I know not a man. See, the Holy Ghost overshadowed her and planted the seed, the Word of God, in her, and she embraced the Son. Now, the woman. Today is like a widow. I said she's a widow. So here's another woman. Here's another church. Needing the Word of God. Living in a land of drought. Living in a land with no rain. Where are we living today? Where's the church, the woman? Why are we living today? The church is in a drought generation. We've been living in a drought for years now. The Lord told us last November that it's been a time of famine for the Word of God, but the Word of God was going to begin to return unto us. The time has come for the Word of God to be restored to us. Well, to have the Word of God restored to us, we've got to have rain. We've got to have rain. There's got to be rain in the land. There had been no rain in the land, so everything was dry. Everything was dying. The brook dried up. The buzzards didn't come over there to eat their food and drink water. That's the reason they didn't come back no more. The brook dried up. So Elijah had to leave. The ravens, the vultures, they brought food there to eat. And they brought food and bread to eat. And when it did, Elijah just got it and eat it. And he drank because the ravens came to drink the water of the brook. Because there's no water in the land. But when the brook dried up and the ravens didn't come back, because there was no way they would come because there's no water to drink. They had to go somewhere else to hunt water. But God's Word came to Elijah and 
and said, Go to Zarephath. I commanded a woman, another woman. Praise God. He, God don't want the vultures to be blessed, the ravens to be blessed. He wants the woman to be blessed. He wants the church to be blessed. He wants God's people to be blessed. But today, we're letting the church die. We're letting the rains, instead of praying for rain, Zechariah said, ask for rain in the time of the latter rains. I will cause black clouds to overshadow you and give every man's rains to every man's crops in the fields. This is the times of the rains of the Holy Ghost. The former and the latter rain is Jeremiah 35 and 6. If we will hear God's word, if we will hearken to God's voice, if we will pray and weep and weep our way through, God will send us the joy promise the promise that God spoke with Joel the prophet of the former and the latter rain. But we're going to have to do something. The woman that was married had to do something. When she was doing something with God's man, today we don't have no respect for nobody. We've lost respect for the pastor. We've lost respect for the teacher. We've lost respect for the evangelist, people used to just flock the churches for evangelists. Now you can't even, evangelists can't even hold revival over two or three days. Well, we used to, well, they never would schedule us under two weeks. And revivals would break out plenty of time. I'd stay five. i messed my whole two years schedule up. Some place I never did go. I'd have to cancel out. Never did go. Now to pick 